truer words have never been spoken. You guys, this is my merch. So if you haven't visited my uh, t-shirt shop, I will link it down below. If you feel like you're a golden girl in training or if you feel like you're Sophia, Blanche, Rose, or Dorothy, I definitely have shirt options for you. I'm definitely a Dorothy, but I wanted to show this one to you guys today. The pink version of this is selling out the most out of all of them, which I'm really, really surprised. Um, the gray is actually my favorite. I think gray looks super cute with jeans. And look at these fun little earrings. Oh my gosh, I love this shirt so much. So I'll leave it down below for you. But I'm going to just spare you too much of a long intro today. And we are going to dive into my Dollar Tree haul. This is looking a little small for me. All these. And these bags are also Dollar Tree, but we'll get into all that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this bag. I'm gonna take everything out of it. Also, do you guys like today's, what's wrong with my hair? Do you guys like today's background? Like I wanted to like do something different, but I feel like those, it's a little blinding, huh? Let me fix it. All right, hopefully that's a little bit better, but all right. So saw this bag, they're starting to put out some of their summer stuff like next to their like flip flops. And I saw this cute little bag. I'm really surprised by this print. I think it's perfect. They didn't overdo it. I love the black and white stripes. I love the pineapple. It is, it is see-through. It's not the greatest quality, but this would be really fun, especially to just take back in with you to Dollar Tree um, as your little shopping bag. And I'm definitely trying to get better about that, especially as often as I shop at Dollar Tree, but I do recycle the plastic bags anyway. So, um, Love the black handle. I think it's really beautiful because they could have gone wrong so many different ways, but they didn't. You can kind of like tell the size. It's not too big. It's not too small. Would also be really cute to take to the library. What I had in that bag, I got this. Now, I think they might have had this for a while. It's a lemon squeezer and it's yellow, obviously. And they had different colors as well. They had green and I could have gotten green because my kitchen is like a green and yellow theme. And I just wanted to go ahead and go with yellow. And I don't actually have a lemon squeezer, but they do have multiple colors. And then I found this in the teaching tree section. I thought it was very interesting. They had other patterns. And if I took photos, I'll be adding them here throughout the video. Also, I'm trying to do this new thing where I'm taking photos of things that I didn't buy just because they don't really apply to me, but I want you guys to be able to see it. So I'll add those at the end of the video. So stay tuned so that you can see what else is new at the Dollar Tree or things that I find intriguing. And if I had a purpose for them, I would buy them. But this is a plastic rubbing plate and it has like scales. And actually there's another one. Then there's these little waves. And then if you see here on the picture, you can just put a piece of paper over it. And then if you color over it, you get the pattern. I thought this would be really interesting for my planner and use it like as a new planner technique. So that is why I got this pattern. Um, the fact that this is a red color, I think is completely irrelevant if you're gonna use this method. Otherwise, you can just use this for different crafting. You can use it to cut up little squares and actually put in your um, pocket letters. You can use it for card mail and things like that. Also found these little bags. Now, honestly, I think this is one of my biggest addictions at Dollar Tree is anytime they put out a cute new bag, like I have to have it. Although I don't know why. I don't technically have to have it, but I feel very drawn to it. And this one's a little cute pink flamingos and like unperfect polka dots, which I think is super cute. I love the pink zipper. Although the pink zip zipper doesn't really match exactly to the color of the, maybe in the body right here of the flamingo, there is a cute little handle. The inside again has no lining. I rarely see any of these little like makeup bags, um, stationary bags with any sort of lining on the inside. So the day they start doing that, oh my Lord. So then I found these phone stands and they had other ones I think I took photos so you'll be seeing those but this one says you bake me crazy so that's really cute so see you just take that out so it's actually comes in two pieces 
and then I assume it kind of goes like this. And then you can just stand your phone up against it. That is really cute to take to the office and that way like you are able to see if you have like any incoming messages, especially if you have children. I always have my phone no matter what I'm doing, no matter where I'm going, just in case my daughter texts me. And that way like you're able to see. So I think this is really cute. It's not too over the top of a design, although I have to say there was one with like taco. It was really cute. And then this one I think is cute. Probably not the best to take to the office, although it's probably the most accurate. It says, I do not care, or donut. I don't know if you can see care right there. That is really, really cute. The pattern's cute. The donut is really pretty. Like, I'm impressed by this, to be honest. I also have um, iron, the next Iron Chef on, obsessed. Also, I'm just obsessed with cooking shows, to be honest, in case you didn't know that. I, I pretty much always have either the Food Network on or Hallmark Channel on. I don't know that I actually ever visit any other channels. It's crazy. Anyway, irrelevant information. Then I found this new magnet, and if you've been watching some of my past hauls, you know that there have been a lot of lemon, lemonade type stuff being sold at Dollar Tree, and I thought this was perfect too. Life needs more sweet tea and sunshine. It's more sweet tea. It says sweet tea, but... It's yellow, so it looks like lemonade to me. So I thought it was really cute, and it could go on my fridge. All right, now we're down to our last bag. For starters, this bag is a donut bag. And the donuts are cute. Every donut is just so cute and whimsical, and the handle is this baby blue, which I really love. I wouldn't have liked it yellow or green. I think blue and pink would have been the best way to go and blue is great too so all right now what we have in the bag i mean to complete my ensemble right hello now i don't typically buy the scarves at dollar tree i used to way back in the beginning but then i just kind of felt like they're just too light for me and when I wear a scarf, I want them for like keeping warm, warm. And yes, you can definitely wear scarves during springtime as like decorative um, to add to your outfit. And that way you're not super hot, but I don't typically wear scarves in the springtime. But when I saw this, I was like, well, I have to. Because they've also been selling stuff of this like tropical leaf print that reminds me of Golden Girls. So go check out my other video where they had like matching plates. But look at this. Very random, but I got a ruler. I ha I thought I had one in my craft room. I probably do, even though I just cleaned it out and I couldn't find it. And I need it for, like, planning stuff. And it's always just good to have a ruler on hand. And look, a nice, good, clear ruler. And they have other types to choose from as well. Next are these books. So these are definitely new, although they've come out with some similar in the past and I hauled all of them if you remember that video and I use all of them. As a matter of fact, I've gone through one entire one already, the other one, then I have one going for work notes and then I have one for like home notes, like where I just write like a to-do list in my head of like quickly and I love them. Now they had a black background. This is like a very cheap piece of paper the paper quality isn't the greatest but i don't mind um i love just buying like quick one dollar notebooks and but like i said the other one had a black background and different like cutout prints but i definitely think i prefer the other ones better but i do love these styles and these are little bubbles and they had other ones, but again, I was like, don't buy all of them. You still have other ones to go through. But I really liked these patterns, so I got them. And if I took photos of the other ones, you, you would have seen them by now. But, yep. Next are some stickers. Found a lot of new stickers, but we know my collection's out of control. And I got this for a very specific spread. And I got it because I really liked the bubbles. Next, I got this gorgeous coffee mug, probably my favorite coffee mug I've ever seen at Dollar Tree. And look at this. 
So I think I'm probably gonna be doing another like Mother's Day, I've never actually done a Mother's Day gift basket, but I'm going to do one to give you guys some ideas and this is perfect for a Mother's Day basket. Like look how beautiful this mug is and they had other ones to choose from as well. There's nothing on the inside, but it's beautiful. And the print is on both sides. So even if you're left-handed or right-handed, like it's gonna be perfect. All right, here's another cute little notebook. One in a melon, million. So cute, you've got the watermelon. And at first I saw these like in the checkout lane and I was like, oh, I bet the paper is boring. No, nope. the paper is a watermelon. Look at the top. It's got the, look at that, wow. Like I could not believe that the paper was decorative as well. There is a little magnet so it closes shut. It is really cute and they had other notebooks as well, but I'm trying to chill out. So one in a melon and it is glitter. Oh my goodness, super cute. Okay, so I've been, I've been looking over here debating on what I'm gonna show you last because sometimes I like to save like certain surprises for last, but okay, this is not last, but What? What? I oh, a dollar. And this is like amazing quality, you guys. This it was, look how, look at the glue perfection. It is very well done, very well done. Definitely decorative. You could probably plop like a tea light, maybe like a battery operated one, which Dollar Tree sells, or even like a real one, which Dollar Tree sells, and not sponsored by Dollar Tree, although I wish. Like, that would be my wildest dreams. Um, but you could, oh, you could hang these outside, you know, like if you have like those like hooks coming out of your fence, like who remembers when I had that in my last house and I had my flower pots hanging, like you could hang this and it would be really cute. You could hang this in your house. You know, this is perfect for farmhouse. Farmhouse is just very trendy right now. And they have these at Dollar Tree. I got three, don't know why three, but I got three. Now, here is the last two things, and it has been a very long, long time since I have hauled these, and they are notes. Who remembers when I used to haul these all the time, but Dollar Tree wasn't putting out anything new. Trust me, I, have, I always go by every single section of Dollar Tree that I love, and I'm checking to see if they have new stuff. But for the past two years, it's been the same thank you cards, the same thing, things that I've already hauled in the past. And thank goodness I looked again because they have new ones. I'm hiding one behind it because I don't think you're ready for it. So we're just gonna take a look at this one first. Watercolor Hearts. And it is blank notes, which I love because that way you can fully customize it. There's not like a message that maybe you couldn't use. Although if you wanted to, you could actually cover up messages and notes and get really creative if you love the outside that much. But you get eight in here plus white envelopes. I don't know if you can see that, but they have these. And finally, mm, they skimped on this one. Mm, they gave us eight here, but six here. Mm. What? And look, they are, they are actively sprinkling the donuts. Do you see that? These are the shakers, and they're sprinkling on the toppings. And then this one little strawberry. Oh my God. I just wish they had like a pink donut over here to balance it out. That's the only other thing, like maybe a blue donut, maybe like a purple donut, maybe get rid of like this chocolate one and replace it, but oh my goodness. They only gave us six, I guess. It's really disappointing, but I'll take it. I'll take six. 
I mean, honestly, I'm probably just going to use one. And then, of course, you guys already saw the um, donut bag, which I am going to use and put in my car and take with me for future Dollar Tree hauls. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are able to find any one of these things in your Dollar Tree. I know sometimes it's a hit and miss. I see it all the time. Like, I follow certain people on Instagram, and I see things that they're finding and I don't find them. And I'm like, oh, I don't know why Dollar Tree doesn't put out the same thing in every store. Um, I think that's because not everything is produced through the Dollar Tree warehouse. Sometimes I think they buy off of other businesses that are maybe like selling leftover things. So anyway, stay tuned if you wanna see if I have any new pictures for things that are new at the Dollar Tree. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.